Hi, um, I'm going to attempt to try and modify my Turner G 9X uh, with uh, this uh, I received today. Um, as some of you know, the uh, Turner G doesn't come with a, uh, a failsafe because I'm using a DJI NASA and um, if I go out of range or if uh, the transmitter decides to uh, fail um, my quad's going to just drop out of the sky. So um, I bought this. I'm going to attempt to modify my uh, Turner G 9X. Uh, hopefully, won't kill it in the process. Um, um, and is a little quick, uh, well, hopefully a quick uh, how-to of uh, you know what I did. Uh, so this wasn't um, uh, all expensive. It was uh, like 30, 38, 39 pounds. Um, so. Hopefully, we'll uh, crack on and, um, oops, see what happens. There's an aerial here, a couple of leads, there's a three-way switch, um, bind switch. Um, so, I've, should be fairly easy. Hopefully, I won't kill, like I say, I won't kill the uh, transmission in the process. Uh, right, a few things we need to do first is basically open it up. Um, And take out some of the, the insides. There's a bit of soldering, hopefully not too much because my soldering skills aren't aren't brilliant. Um, so it's uh, I've been told it's not too complicated. So if I do if I go quiet, that's probably because I'm concentrating. Um, soldering isn't isn't one of my uh, better skills. Um, so. Uh, so hopefully it's, uh, it should work out all right. Um, obviously, when a movie battery pack, you want it to, to power up while uh, you know you're soldering about in there. That's going to be a bit too big. Right. There's also a little bit of drilling involved, obviously, to put the the bind bind plug and also there's uh, another three-way switch um, wasn't keen on doing the drilling to be honest with you because obviously if I decide to uh, sell this handset again it, uh, it obviously limits limits that because somebody might not be too tempted uh, but I suppose you know somebody might because it saves them uh, having to go through this process just under here, so I can show you this. I need to do is there is one lead that I need to just unplug. It should be just this one here, and that will separate the uh, the back and the front. So let's gently pull that out. Okay, there we go. Right. So, inside of a Turner Genome X. Right, we don't need the front, so that can go to one side. All right, now the other thing is that this cable here connects up into the air, but it's soldered inside there, so that will require a little bit of unsoldering first. Um, and then we can take off the aerial, etc. Right, I'm going to put these screws out. comes off quite nice and easy. Uh, 
Uh, and as you can see, try and zoom that a little bit. That's where the aerial is sold on to. So my first job is basically to just unsolder that. So it, it just makes it, yeah, the aerial come off nice and neat really. Easy. So I don't need that, but we'll keep that safe. Um, hopefully, the idea is for. It's obviously not going to sit back in there, is it? So probably a bit of a bit of trimming that potentially could sort of fit nice and neat inside there. Alright, next thing we do is to take this area out. So that pulls down there. screws back in, keep this all together nice and neat, I'm not going to lose any of the bits here. I mean ideally, <coughs> I don't really want to do too many modifications to the case, because if I decide to sort of sell it on a later point, I can you know keep all these bits, put it back, you know, with little damage, but we'll see. Right. So, right, so the first thing to do is obviously try it and attach this. and get there's a nut just here I think you're actually just try and get it just fit it under that under that lip and that should that's better okay there we go that's 
groups apart now. Excellent, so aerial fitted. Right, and this is a bit that I'm not looking forward to. Now, it is basically I'll trim these down a little bit. Basically, these three wires get sewed onto there. Okay, so what I'm going to do next is basically solder three wires from this onto the top three top three bits here. Um, and really, once that's done, that, that'll be it. So this is the, probably the bit where, if it's going to go wrong for me, it's going to go wrong. But hopefully, it looks, I mean, they're, they're fairly big, fairly nicely well spaced apart, so hopefully it shouldn't go hideous, too hideously wrong for me. Um, if you hear a lot of screaming and shouting, um, it's probably because I've messed it up. And... Uh, I've, I've killed it, <laughs> but uh, <clears throat> hopefully that won't happen. Right, so we've got yellow at the top, black in the middle, red at the bottom. There's one. Next to go is the black one. That's two. It's looking pretty good. It's looking pretty good. Um, okay, really apart from the drilling, there's actually not much more left to do. So um, I need to, I'm probably gonna try, just trim a little bit of the plastic on this and I'm tempted to really, sort of be glue this in place here. Okay, you can be careful with these contacts because obviously this is connects to the uh, to the other board. So uh, uh, yeah, wait a minute. I'm just going to trim this. I think I'm going to mount that mount that there, and hopefully I need to create some holes uh, for these for these switches. Um, Okay, all right, that'll be the next bit. All right, what I've gone and done is um, put a bit of glue on here just to keep that secure in there. And also I've just put a bit of glue around the base of the, uh, the aerial mount just to just try and keep it secure if you know I can take the aerial off uh, or anything like that. Now what I need to do next is obviously mount this switch, which I'm probably gonna mount probably just under here. Um, and then obviously for the bind light and switch 
Um, I need to find a place for that. Um, so I'm going to go and do that. I'm going to do the hole in there. Uh, and then we'll mount that. Uh, and see what that looks like. Alright, I've got the switch installed now. Um, I didn't quite have the right size drill bit, so I had to sort of try and uh, widen the hole. But it's gone in now. Um, it's quite nice and nice, neat and tidy. That's good. Tighten that up. Uh, so the next thing to do is make some holes for this, um, and that, and then we're pretty much done.